Alright, what is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Boy Freak Series today, and we're back some Black Ops 3. So last night, I went to the theaters, and I possibly saw the best movie of all time. For me, at least. I went and saw Deadpool, and seriously, like, it was an amazing movie. I don't have one complaint. Every single aspect of that movie, the comedy, the feels, the humor, well, humor and comedy are the same thing. But literally everything was amazing about that movie. If you haven't seen it, literally go see it right now. Go. Click off the video. Go fucking watch it. I'm just kidding. Don't click off the video. I'm sorry. I'm joking. After this video, go watch it. It was seriously amazing, though. Go see it. If you guys aren't really into Marvel, you know, I mean, like, if you're not, you're not. If you are, you are. It's just, it's kind of a personal preference. Deadpool is, he's not a superhero. He's not a super villain. He's just kind of that happy medium. He's borderline villain, but, you know, borderline superhero. He's not really one of anything. And oh my lord, is he rude. But as you guys might know, it is an R-rated movie. It's not meant for kids. No. No kids. And, you know, because it has the marble label on it, well, people think it's all, you know, fun and games. You know, it's a superhero movie. Because when you think about it, all superhero movies are kid-friendly. And because the rules are different in America than they are Canada, Deadpool was ended up rated 14A, and it's actually rated R. And clearly one of the parents didn't get the memo, because she ended up taking her kid to the movie apparently, and she was standing outside of the theater, she was like, don't go see Deadpool, that was terrible, you know, it's so immature and rude, and so inappropriate that I had to leave 15 minutes through because my kid wasn't able to watch that. Really? Really? You're that fucking blonde? Like, it's Deadpool. Whether you watch Marvel or not, you should know that Deadpool is, well, inappropriate. The fucking trailer had inappropriate features in it, like, come on. No shit, it's inappropriate. He's fucking Deadpool. And honestly, do you think a superhero, a super hero is called Deadpool? No. Like, no. Do you think superheroes cut people's heads off and fucking shoot them? No. Good job, CDC. Let's do it again and let's go home. What the fuck? Did he seriously just say that? But seriously, on every single door or window or any, you know, noticeable place, there was actually a notice that Deadpool is incredibly inappropriate, and that is not meant for kids, and that if you're not with anyone over the age of 18, you're not allowed in. Clearly she didn't get that fucking memo. The one that was posted on the door. Like, seriously, are you seriously that just fucking transparent? Do you really not understand things that much? I don't know, it's just like, that just mind fucked me. I was like, seriously, uh, I'm not even gonna start again. So yeah, I guess that was a pretty funny part of the movie. Well, well, I mean, like the adventure of the movie. But in all seriousness here, seriously, if you haven't seen it, go see it. It was seriously such an amazing movie. Like, there was nothing wrong with it in my eyes. In a lot of people's eyes, actually, there's not a lot of people who really didn't like Deadpool. How couldn't you like Deadpool? There's boobs, there's butts, there's fucking full-on sex scenes. Amazing action, hilarious fucking humor. Like, everything was in that movie. And it was seriously produced and directed so well. Like, they knew what they were doing in that studio. They knew what kind of movie they were making. They fucking mastered it. Like, seriously, it has to be my favorite movie now like it topped everything favorite superhero everything like i honestly want to go more in depth on the topic and you know why it's funny and like a couple of the jokes but like seriously i don't want to spoil it for you guys because like even though they're just small jokes in the movie it's just you need to experience them for yourself all of the jokes in that movie were so fucking funny honestly and as i said if you haven't seen it already go go Go. I watched it last night and I already want to see it again. Like, I am actually considering seeing it in a couple days again. I will take any opportunity I can to go see Deadpool once again. It's in the theater. When a movie is that good in the theater, you must go a second time. I mean, I've never seen a movie a second time in the theater, so that's saying something. I always thought people were idiots for seeing movies a second time in the theater, but I mean, like, now? Oh, god damn. If the movie's like this... I understand. Like, seriously, do what you must for Deadpool. That shit's amazing. You guys are probably sitting there like, shut the fuck up. We get it. Deadpool's cool. Just, jeez. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> I've been using the specialist only for a little bit, and I'm starting to get so good with it. It's actually fucking awesome. I love it. I used to hate on the sparrow, but now it's like, nah, this shit's awesome. Oh, <laughs> you got dicked. But anyways, guys, that's all I really have to talk about for this video. So hope you guys did enjoy. But anyways, guys, this can be everything for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember to drop a thumbs up. Also, remember to comment down below. Chat me up. I love when you guys talk to me. Also, remember to share around to a couple of peeps. I want to get 300 subs pretty soon. So, let's get it. But as usual, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, evening, night. I'll get you a fantastic day in general. I'll talk to you later. Stay positive.